Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here, welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do some SR videos. Nobody wants to know like SSR and stuff because, you know, ideally, if you don't know, we should be saving because we're going to have a couple of very cool, awesome banners coming soon. So stop pulling for SSR except for the lolly. Alright, which lolly am I talking about? This lolly. The only one you want to pull for is this lolly. That's it. And then you should be saving. Build your SRs for now. A lot of SRs are insane. And in this video, we're going to talk about which SRs are strong, which SRs suck ass. And also, very important, not just tell you who is strong, but tell you why they are strong as well, so you can understand the game better. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, first things first. We're going to talk a bit about Yumina. She's not that strong because her deployment cost is quite high. Now, I, I get it, she's your waifu, ETC, I get it, she's the protagonist of the story as well. But if you have been building her, she's fine in the early stage of the game, but I don't recommend investing too much into her. Now, unfortunately, none of the strong SRs that I'm going to recommend today are waifus. Wait, yeah, most of them are husbandos and some machine stuff, except for one. We're going to talk about that later. Alright, so Yumina, her skill is pretty decent. Now, what's holding her back from being like recommended by a lot of players or a lot of people is her high deployment cost, which is 4 right here. Now, most SSR, they either have 4 deployment costs or some of them have 5 or Titan even have 6. But for SR to have 4 deployment costs is a big no-no. Instead, for the starter units that you want to be investing into, you should invest in not her, she sucks balls. You should be investing in this guy. Now, just like any other animes, if the dude close their eyes or they have squinty eyes, you know they are really strong. And it's no different in this game. Alright, squinty eyes or closed eyes, this guy is insane. And I want to tell you guys why. You might be wondering, okay, why is this guy insane? If you're not aware, look at this skill. Alright, number one, he dashes forward and backward, inflicting AOE damage. Now this dude, he dash forward, deal damage, and he retreat backward to prevent himself from getting damage. So he's not a tank, alright? You, if you have a tank in front, he can do that instantly. Number two, passive skill allows him to be deployed anywhere regardless of enemies' bosses or ship's HP, which is invaluable. And his special skill ignores damage from hit stunning special skills, shoot spirit sword, and stuns the target. AOE, again, AOE, stun, 1.5 seconds. And lastly, ultimate skill, again, stuns the targets, inflicting AOE damage, 5 seconds stun. That is insane. If you're not building this guy for the meta, you guys are crazy. I mean, again, if you're doing this for waifu, sure, I understand. And also comparing him to Yumina, he's way cheaper. Deployment cost is 3, so it makes sense for you guys to focus on him. He is the best SR, and even in the Korean server, they are still using this guy in a lot of PvE stages. So make sure you guys invest in this dude. The next girl that I'm going to talk about is not Yujin, but if you're looking for a strong attacker, a DPS, someone that can deal a lot of damage. So Kim Sobin is the one you want to go for. Now, she is insanely strong. If you look at her skills, all right, inflicts damage on target in front, the attack stops after 10 seconds, or if the target dies or moves 9 meters away from her, which is really interesting. Passive skill, again, delivers AoE damage in front when deployed, and her special skill inflicts AoE damage, and lastly, her ultimate skill deals massive AoE damage again. Now, she is the go-to for most players. I would highly recommend you guys to build her, and I'm going to teach you guys how to get her for free, like sort of sort of free, because you don't really need to pull for her. Alright, next up, none of these guys are particularly good, so I don't recommend building any of these. Next up is this lolly right here, Lin Xian. Oh boy, if you guys are not building her, now I know she's not waifu, she's a midget holding a gun, so I, I understand that. But here's the thing, she's actually really really strong. And in a lot of teams, she's a very valuable asset because she helps reduce deployment costs. Alright. So as you can see, the passive skill right here uh, instantly restores one deployment resource upon deployment. That is something that is invaluable, all right? And you can actually get her shards from right here. Uh, if you guys are still starting out, you can get like at least a couple of her shards and be able to obtain her remaining shards by farming in this stage, right? There's one featured stage that you can farm her shards as well. It's just insane. Special skill, she fires two shotguns knocking enemies backward. With AoE damage again. AoE damage, very important. This is what makes this unit strong. And this knockback is really, really useful in a lot of stages. So I would highly recommend you guys give her a shot. And of course, her ultimate skill 
will instantly restore three deployment resources, which is also something that's very invaluable. So she makes a lot of things cheaper for you. She allows you to deploy a lot of units very fast. There's a lot of strategy that you can try to use her to overwhelm your enemies in PvP, and she's just insane. All right, I know she's not the best waifu and all. She's not that bad looking, come on. I'm pretty sure she could be waifu for some of you. All right, next up, Sylvia Lena Cooper. Now she is really, really strong, but she's gonna be more fitting in a mech team. Of course, not many players build those, but let me briefly explain. If you look at this passive skill right here, right, increase hit and evasion by 20% for all mechs on the field. Depending on how many mechs you have, her value is gonna be really, really insane. But even if you don't really use her for her passive skill, her special skill is gonna be insanely good because it fires energy and inflict AOE damage and stuns targets for 4 seconds except for soldiers and counters. Now, 4 seconds stun is really really good in PvE stages and if you try to hit those enemies, those uh, CO, right? You will be able to inflict this most of the time. And of course, ultimate skill, hex into strategic missile and inflict AOE damage again very very useful again I, like i mentioned she fits better in most mech teams but that's not to say that you shouldn't build her at all even if you don't use any mech team she can still fit in your team in some occasions and i've been using her as a decent sniper she is really really strong all right so next up my man ryan ferrer <laughs> now i know i've been memeing about this and i've been trying to reroll for this old man but oh my god this dude is insanely strong Look at these stats. Look at these numbers. Numbers do not lie, right? Look at this HP. 63,000. Tell me who has as much HP, HP as this guy. No other SR has 63,000. Like you cannot find anyone else with high HP like him. His HP is just insanely, insanely high. Uh, maybe this guy, but this guy sucks. I wouldn't recommend building this guy. But HP is just one part of the equation. So what makes this guy really strong is, of course, like I mentioned, HP and defense. And also, he has an ability that enables him to move forward and just ignores the enemy and just keep moving forward, which is something that's really invaluable. In certain strategy, you can actually benefit from this a lot and forces three surrounding enemies to attack him for five seconds. He has this taunt ability as well. Decreased damage taken by 25%. Again, that's something that you want for a tank like him. Alright, special skill, very insane, stun enemies for 2 seconds with, it, with AoE damage. Alright, so AoE stun is something that's invaluable. And lastly, if you look at the ultimate skill, he also has this AoE damage that decreases target's evasion by 50% for 10 seconds. Now this guy is just insane, I've been using him a ton, and I would highly recommend everyone to build him. Like he's just probably, I think he's either the best SR or the second best SR uh, the only one that I can think of that can compete with this dude is the only waifu on this list, Evelyn Keller. Now, she is insanely strong. She is probably the best healer in the game, period. Like, there's no SSR that can heal better than her. There's no SR that can heal better than her. There's no R that can heal better than her. If you guys do not have Evelyn, you guys should try to build her. Again, her basic attack inflicts AOE damage on and around the target. Passive skill. After every third basic attack, she restores surrounding units HP by 2% upon the next basic attack. That is something that's really invaluable. Now special skill, she throws a healing potion and allies in front of her will basically recover 25% of HP over 8 seconds. Now I always pair both Ryan and her, so therefore, you know, my Ryan will be indestructible and always healing all the time. Now, uh, ultimate skill also restores HP of all allies except herself by 30% and it does two things. It heals and also deals AOE damage on the enemies. So you guys should build all of these SR units like I recommend. Now let's teach you guys how to obtain them. Besides Ryan and Ju Shiyun, you can actually obtain the others that I've mentioned in this list via this stage in operation, all right, in supply operation, in talent recruitment. So as you can see, Kim Sobin can be obtained right here, okay? And this Lolly, Lin Sien, can be obtained right here. Make sure you guys farm her as well. And lastly, Evelyn can be farmed right here. So therefore, you guys just auto through this stage. It's pretty easy. Like I can show you guys, once you guys have done it, go to HQ, go to CEO's office scout. Like you can see right here, I've obtained her, uh, Kim Sobin right here, right? Because I obtained 101 of her shots. 
So now I can do start scouting. So therefore it will convert this shot and produce a unit for me, right? So that's my first Kim Sobin. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's quite easy to get more duplicates of them, even though you don't really need them, uh, except for limit break and stuff. The only thing that perhaps you want to try to obtain from pools is Ryan. Like this dude is just crazy. Uh, try to give him the equipment, skill him up. Like you won't regret it, trust me. He's been doing a lot of work for me in both PvE, PvP. Try and get him. Like all the SR that I mentioned in today's list, hopefully you guys try to somewhat build them up. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys agree or disagree. And again, if you guys have any additional SRs that you think are worth building, let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.